Today we're going to go over equations again, but this time it's specifically point-slope formula. So that looks like this. y minus y1 is equal to the slope of x minus x1. And so we have y1 here, x1 there, and our slope also. Alrighty, we're not going to be doing all of these. But we use point-slope form anytime we're given point and a slope, which is what we got in number one. So we just have to fill it in. We have our y1. We have our x1. And we have our slope. So plug it in. y minus y1 is 1, my slope is 2, and then x minus my x1 is 4. Now we need to solve this for y. So always to do that, the first thing you do is distribute your slope. So that's what we're going to do first y minus 1 is equal to 2x minus 8. And then the second thing you do is um, add or subtract your y1, which means in this case we're adding 1. y is equal to 2x minus 7. All right, negative 6, 0, and 2 thirds. Here's my equation. So whenever I plug it in, it looks like this, because it's my y1, my slope, and my x1. Um, again, same thing. First thing you do is distribute. Now remember, this is plus. So y minus 0 is equal to 2 thirds x plus 2 thirds times 6. Um, whole numbers are always over 1. 2 times 6 is 12. 3 times 1 is 3. 12 divided by 3 is 4. So that means this will be 4. And then we have 0. So we just take that away because 0 is just 0. And this is our equation. All right, let's do these two. And then we got a couple to do on the back, and then we're good. All right, so first thing we have to do on these, because we're not given a slope, is find the slope. So to find the slope, you subtract your y's, so 7 minus a negative 1. Subtract your x's, negative 3 minus 1. 7 minus a negative is 7 plus 1, which is 8. Negative 3 minus 1 is negative 4. 8 divided by negative 4 is negative 2. So when we plug it in, it looks like this. Oh, I didn't discuss this. So for your um, point that you use in the formula, it doesn't matter which one you use. You just pick one. I personally think the ones would be easier to use in this one. So I'm going to use the ones. Now I'm going to plug it in, and that looks like this. You can go ahead and fix this because minus a negative is plus 1. Distribute this guy. It's still the same order, negative 2x. Negative 2 times negative 1 is a positive 2. Subtract 1 on both sides, which means that y is equal to negative 2x plus 1. Next one, find your slope. Subtract your y's. Negative 1 minus negative 6. 
2 minus 4. This is a plus, so negative 1 plus 6 is 5. 2 minus 4 is negative 2, which gives me a negative 5 over 2. Now plug it in. We haven't discussed which ones are x and y. Um, so let's do these just because I think it's easier. It honestly doesn't matter. You will get the exact same answer. So this is what it looks like whenever you plug it in. You can go ahead and make this plus because minus a negative is plus. So y plus 1. Distribute your slope. Negative 5 over 2x. Negative and negative is a positive. 5 over 2 times 2. And I get that they're both negative, but I already said that they're positive. 2 is always over 1. 5 times 2 is 10. 2 times 1 is 2. 10 divided by 2 is 5. So that's what goes there. Then subtract 1. y is equal to negative 5 halves x plus 4. All right, last couple problems. So we have to write an equation parallel to this one that passes through that point, which means that our slope that we're going to use is going to be 2 because it's parallel, meaning it's the same. And then we're using negative 1 for our y and negative 4 for our, our x. Plug it into the equation, and you'll get this. You can go ahead and make this plus. You can make this one plus and then distribute your 2. So 2x plus 8. Subtract 1 from both sides. y is equal to 2x plus 7. All right, let's find a perpendicular one. All right, here is a perpendicular one. So in order for perpendicular, we've got to use the opposite reciprocal to that. Well, that is positive, so our slope is going to be negative. And then we have to flip that fraction, so it's going to be 4 over 3. And then we have our point. And this is what it'll look like in the equation. And it'll look like this. You can go ahead and make this plus. So y plus 3. Distribute. Negative four thirds x, negative and a negative is a positive, and then four thirds times three is 12 over three, which is four. Then subtract three from both sides. So y is negative four thirds x plus one. Let's try another perpendicular. Uh, let's do this one because it has some extra steps in it to solve for y. So we need to solve um, this equation for y to know what its um, slope is. So it's the same two steps. Subtract your x on both sides. Then divide everything by that b. So 3 over 3y is equal to negative 5 over 3x minus 21 over 3, which ends up giving you these cancel. y, negative 5 thirds x minus 21 divided by 3 is 7. So our original slope is negative 5 thirds. So our slope that we're going to use in our equation, the negative will become positive, and you flip it. So 5 thirds becomes 3 fifths. And then, of course, we have our point back here that we've got to use to plug in. And this is what it looks like once you've plugged it in. So it's still y minus 1. Distribute your 3 fifths. You can go ahead and make this into a plus 3 fifths x plus and then 3 fifths times 5. 3 times 5 is 15. 5 times 1 is 5. 15 divided by 5 is 3. Add 1 to both sides. And your equation is y equals 3 fifths x plus 4. And we're done with our notes.